and uh, they've got about 160 now. And they're planning. Yes, that's now been leaked from the Pentagon. Five hundred thousand for his boy. What a piece Nick Obama is. Let me shift gears here, Bob. I want to get your take on this. Microwave guns. We have video. We've been playing it, driving through neighborhoods. Just no one's even on the street. People are video tipping out their windows. And there's photos we've got. I was looking at it last night. Aaron's still asleep because he was up till 5 a.m. I'm told. I left it at uh, two after I was on coast to coast AM and did some work here. I should have printed that off, but it was photos and videos on his computer. I can go check during a break and try to find it, of, like, little kids just walking down the street or in their front yard. No one's – and they got a ball. It's the classic shot, and here comes an armored vehicle hitting them with LRAD. I mean, this is – these cops are just – Mad dogs, like mad dogs that have tasted blood in a feeding frenzy. I mean, little kids are bad now? And because they're saying, no one's allowed on the streets. No one. Go in your houses. Woo! You know, hitting the... I mean, what is that, Bob? All I can tell them is we better start taking names. Uh, there's going to be retribution for stuff like that. But, I mean, why would police drive through neighborhoods where there are no protesters... Uh, you can see on the videos, the cameras panning and the photos we've got of separate incidents, and you've got families on their front porches, and two of them say they have this video, but they're too busy to try to upload it because they're running on the streets, and then their laptop was crapping out last night. They stayed up late trying to do it. But the point is, is that they're run is that, is that they've got video, they say, of people on their front porches. Uh, uh, Douglas has this. Just, just, just literally being hit with the LRAD, going, why? Ah! I mean, you, I mean, now in America, you can't be on your porch. Well, this, there's one or two reasons. They either want to stir up uh, an uprising by attacking people in this way, uh, or they just plain demented. Well, I think it's like a bully likes to sit on top of you and spit in your face and punch you. And I just think it's, a, you know, they've been told, let them know they're sirs. Let them know you're in charge. They admit the black uniforms and masks are for intimidation. Well, that's that's true. But how can a real man, and I'm not saying I'm some tough guy or something, but I would be ashamed of messing with weak people. You know, I mean, I don't, I would be ashamed. My instincts are leave weak people alone. But, boy, some big guy starts something with me. I mean, that gets me fired up. Like, I, I mean... Isn't that how you're supposed to be, that a warrior wants to fight other warriors, not go around messing with nine-year-old kids and 95-pound women? Absolutely, and you're right. That's n normality. Uh, that's the way normal people would react to that. And people will pick on children and, and families that are non-combatants, if you want. Uh, they're either demented or they're trying to get these people to start shooting at them or something. Well, they're out of their minds is what they are. I mean, I mean, this is insane. Amazing. By the way, Dave Mustaine is on. Rob is the producer that handled that. He left town on short notice, didn't get Dave Mustaine's home number he's at right now. He's obviously, and so we've got that now. Dave Mustaine is coming up, start of the next hour. Final segment with Bob Chapman, the international forecaster. Straight ahead. You don't want to miss this. Is our guest Bob? I'll just ask you uh, live here on air. We got Dave Mustaine coming on. I don't know what your schedule is today, but I want to finish up with you on where the economy's going, what the G20 is doing from your analysis. Uh, you want to come up uh, with us uh, in about an hour and a half again for another thirty, or do you just want to pop in next Friday? We can cover it then. No, I can come back. I'm, I'm free in an hour and a half. Hour and a half, my friend. Uh, we're going to get a report at the start of the hour from my guys at the G20. Uh, the timing should be it's going to get hot and heavy by then. Uh, my uh, little uh, nose tells me. But they'll be popping in. But, yes, I'd like to have you the last 30 minutes of the show. T-minus one hour, 30 minutes from now, my friend. Okay. And Judy just sent you the information on those ships and the casualties on your email, which starts wave two. Okay, good. We will, uh, you we will, have uh, it now. All right. Thank you, Bob. The international forecaster.com. We'll get into the economy for a full 30 minutes because people really are concerned about that. Your take on the flu and a lot more coming up. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh, so, to a final comment that we're going to Bob Chapman for the balance of the hour, uh, with more economic news on the global government announcing world tax and the end of the dollar. Bob Chapman, uh, you fought the communist in Europe. Uh, in military intelligence in Berlin, 
we have a video that we broke a month ago that's finally made national news. It's all over Fox, CNN. In fact, cue that up, the little kids worshiping Obama. And they said this line about, said a Jesus loves all the little children. They say this poem, and then they sing another song about red, yellow, black, and white. They are all equal in his sight. Well, they say they're all equal in Obama's sight. Then they sing the song. This is directly out of North Korea. This is worse than Hitler, worse than Stalin, worse than Mao. Uh, Paul Watson's uh, girlfriend, who was born in China, she got really freaked out when she saw this because she's a patriot. And she said, that's what we had to do to Mao when I was a little girl, was worship him and sing songs about him. I mean, this is getting really sick, Bob Chapman. Well, I think the program is accelerating, and the reason it is is because uh, we've accelerated and uh, we have informed the public and more and more people are catching on. And uh, so that's why they're doing what they're doing. I think what's going to come out of this uh, uh, G20 meeting more than anything else is things that they're not talking about, and uh, that is uh, setting the government uh, and the financial system up for a fall. It's hard to tell what date they're going to pick. It could be in three months. It could be in a year and a half. Uh, you know, they have their own schedule. Yeah, they're meeting, uh, scheming to engineer an even bigger implosion, as they've admitted in the past, that then poses the saviors, saying, give us even more power or we'll have martial law. Yeah, you know, well, if they have martial law, I don't know who's going to do it, because the, the lower and the middle echelons of the military all know what's going on. And they Bob, I don't know, me. though. I know a lot of them are awake, evidenced by Ron Paul getting more contributions than any other political candidate in 2008. But these cops and military seem to enjoy beating the hell out of women, especially, for no reason, and, and L-ratting small children. I mean, it seems like they want to destroy their country. Well, I'm sure there's always some who will. And perhaps they were chosen to do the work that they're doing uh, because of their viciousness. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I know that the average military person does not want to go around beating people up, particularly women, uh, and, and 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 doing things which are unlawful. And uh, I, I think we're going to get a lot of support from the military, and I think this may end up as a military coup. Well, Bob, let's. And then I'm going to play this children worshiping Obama clip. I played it a month ago, but again, now it's national news. People are emailing saying, why aren't you covering it? Because uh, we broke it. Like I get emails saying, why haven't you covered my act? Uh, we broke it. I'm not bragging. It's just that that's an example of how this radio show, pretty much more than any other outlet now, but with a lot of other great folks as well, is now driving the news. What we break and cover weeks later, months later, is then covered by the mainstream media. That shows the power of this audience. It certainly does, and it is a powerful audience, and it's up to them to keep on doing what they're doing and getting to everybody in America and informing them who the enemy of all the people is, not some political party. We, ought to, uh, we have to all come together, and that's in every country because everybody is experiencing the same thing in countries throughout the world. And so we've got to make this thing stick, and the more people who know who the enemy is, the least chance that they have of being successful. I, I Believe me, I do not believe that the military are going to work against the American people. But we saw these two staged terror stings where the FBI cooked the bomb, the fake bombs in both cases, and found one lone nut idiot. It's probably informers. They're probably setting them up. We know they've done that in the past. Or it could just be a mental patient. In the case of 93, World Trade Center, where the FBI cooking the bomb, training the drivers, and ordering their informers to stand down and let it happen. Uh, I think if they stage terror attacks and things, though, it might help. Well, you're always going to find people who are pliable for that. I mean, when they did the tests um, and the surveys um, some 20 years ago, uh, they found that uh, there were 10 to 15 percent of the military who would do heinous things. And you're always going to find them, just like we have criminals in society. I mean, or just, just, if you have 15 hired anarchists run up and throw some bottles at the cops, then the cops will go ahead and open up with, with rubber bullets. Well, I have a question about that, Alex. And the question is, do you believe that the anarchists, the supposed anarchists, are being trained and put into the positions they are by the people who control our government? Here's the answer. In hindsight, in every case, it's been proven 
mainstream Toronto Star, National Post, Denver Post, Seattle Times, Genoa, England G20 this year, killing the paper delivery guy. In every case it's come out, confirmed, the police, the FBI, or, or, or hired foundation people are doing it. And so we don't know yet. Uh, we rarely catch them right at the time, but it always comes out later. Uh, in Canada, people followed the police car and saw them let them out a block away and were taking their outfits off and they had police boots on and the Royal Mounted Police had to admit it. But yes, I've watched the video and you'll have a bunch of idiot meth head kids who are with them, maybe one tenth of one percent of the total crowd, a few morons because the feds go and recruit patsies. But you see it. These are cops and informants and state police officers that are doing this. And, and their argument is we neutralize a dangerous crowd by creating the pretext.